Coach, just um, just give us your um, you know general impression of the Fever's draft class this year. No, we we're ecstatic. You know, we were talking about this for weeks, and you know, when you're sitting in the second round, so many things can go so many different ways. And uh, when we saw McCall was available at 17, it was a no-brainer. Uh, just for everything that's obvious, uh, from where she played to how she plays and areas that she can improve. Uh, but I think, you know, the characteristics of her high motor, her high energy, you know, she's that volleyball player with great timing. She rebounds, uh, she blocks shots. Uh, it fits the culture that's here of winning. Uh, and, and, and then you look at a scoring point guard. Uh, I mean, Fitzgerald, you know, she's putting it up. She's averaging seven, eight assists a game. Uh, plays for a fine coach who, you know, played at Connecticut and coached at Connecticut, so you know the pedigree is there. And just, you know, just to stay in line with the, the type of players that has uh, made Indiana successful, you know, with the big guards. You look at a Ronnie Williams who played in a battle-tested SEC. Um, and then around it out with Adrian Motley, a scoring guard. So we were ecstatic uh, to say we had those late, those late picks. I mean, we heard the reaction when you drafted Erica. I mean, it was clearly – Kind of, a, I mean, I, surprise, I guess, would be the, the word to use, that she was there, and I mean, she must have been pretty high up in your guys' board to have that kind of reaction. Yeah, she was, and, you know, it's so need-based. Uh, we started looking at a lot of the perimeter players that were going ahead, and, um, you know, we, we thought she would be top ten, you know, and she sat there at the draft for a long time, and it's not a reflection on her skill set. It's just what people need, uh, but she just brings so many things to the table that, uh, you can't pass up, and so we're excited we were able to draft her. So you look at your roster now, you know, where do you see some of these new pieces fitting in, or what chance are they going to have to fit in going forward? Well, you know, you look at shoring up some depth. Uh, I, th I think the first box you check off is that they fit the mold of an Indiana Fever basketball player in terms of their motor and energy and used to being on a, on a stage uh, and carrying – a uh, heavy load, uh, per se, but I, I think it shores up some of the core players that we have here, but also competing uh, and making those players better.